Hey crafty friends, it's Amanda with Pear Blossom Press. Today I've got a quick tip for you showing you how to create a faux row texture for the top of your sushi stamps. This is a really cute set that I have from Gina K Designs, although honestly I think I have like every sushi set that <laughs> that's out there. I know I have a Lawn Fawn one and a Beth Duff Designs one. Um, I have done this trick before and everybody always really likes it so I wanted to share it with you. What you'll need is some diamond glaze and some little red micro beads. These are transparent and they are glass. Um, I've had these in my stash for long enough that I'm not sure that I'll be able to link to the exact same ones, but I'll definitely link to something similar if I can't find these. Working on a tray, you'll want to put a quick layer on top of the sushi. And I have already colored this in with Copic markers. That way the color won't bleed. And in, the, in case there's any white space or space that isn't covered by the beads, it won't be white. It will be colored in. I sprinkled some of the beads on top of there. And then I'm going to use my fingernail to make sure that they're all within the colored area so that they're where they're supposed to be. Once I make sure that uh, they're all in the proper place, I can add another layer of diamond glaze on top. You don't have to use diamond glaze. You can use glossy accents, uh, Nuvo drops. You can also use um, pretty much any clear glue that will dry glossy, but you'll want to kind of embed them into it. And as that um, adhesive dries, it's going to uh, shrink back just a little bit and become crystal clear. But you can see it makes a great texture on top of your sushi. I hope that you will give this a try. Let me know what you think down below. If you're new to the channel, feel free to click subscribe and ring that bell. I'll have more quick tips for you along with my regular full-length videos. As always, my friend, thanks for watching!